It's a beautiful shot, a beautiful sun, uh, sunset shot, rather. Uh, you can see it's out over some rocks there. You have to know your coastline pretty well to know where this is. Uh, but you guys always impress me. So if you happen to know where in the world this is, uh, put your guesses in. I'll have that answer coming up here in just about 15 minutes. Such a beautiful shot sent in by David. Thanks for sending that my direction. And if you have a weather picture that you would like to share or you want to put in your guesses, you can do that on Facebook, Twitter. You can email me or you can go to the weather page on KEZI.com. It was a hot one yesterday. High temperatures got right back into the upper 80s despite the morning cloud cover here in the Eugene Springfield area. 90 was the high in Roseburg. Head over to Central Oregon, back into the mid-90s for those of you near Redmond. And it was not only in the mid-90s uh, for parts of Eastern Oregon, but some folks even getting back into the triple digits once again. 101 for the high temperature there in Ontario. Head out to the coast, nice and comfortable with uh, temperatures in the mid-60s. And again, beautiful sunsets there as well. Now that high of 88 degrees, that is 5 above average for this time of year. Uh, about 12 off from the record of 100. That was set back in 1956. At least we haven't been that warm. Didn't see any rainfall yesterday. That deficit continues to climb by about two hundredths of an inch with each day. Now up to 15.57 inches below average for this point in 2013. Again, the driest start to a year that we have ever recorded in the Southern Willamette Valley. Now, as you look at the satellite picture this morning, right down the I-5 corner, which is pretty much the middle of the Willamette Valley, uh, we're seeing clear skies to the east and we're seeing cloudy skies to the west. It's that marine layer, that fog layer that has pushed in from the beaches all the way up over the coast range and into the west side of the valley this morning. So that'll stick with us for a couple hours. It's not going to last long, though. It's thin. It's close to the surface. It'll burn right off. So again, uh, some light fog being reported out at the Eugene Airport. The, the temperature and the dew point at the same level there at 48 degrees. The wind is calm. Visibility still at the full 10 miles despite that fog layer this morning. And as we look at the big picture, you can really see there's not a whole lot going on. We've got those clear skies across the entire Pacific Northwest. There is an area of low pressure on the Pacific, but it's gone rogue. It's just sitting there spinning. It's not going to move uh, to the west, east, north, or south. And we have a few clouds up into Canada, but those are going to stay there as well. So for us, that means we just have some heat moving into the area as that jet stream continues to push back off to the west and to the north. We'll see that warm air sliding up here from the desert southwest and it just stays that way. Stagnant air uh, for the next seven day stretches. That jet stream does not change its pattern uh, again here over this next week. So for the coast, you'll continue to stay in the low to mid 60s. Still battling it out with that marine layer each morning. Sunny skies there for the afternoon. A little bit breezy too. Uh, you'll see those winds from the north at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts up around 35. It'll continue to be breezy here for the next few days through the weekend. Uh, by early next week, you'll see less of that influence from the marine layer because we'll see less onshore flow, which will allow your high temperatures to get right back into the upper 60s. The Imqua Basin, low 90s for you today. Uh, this is going to be one of the cooler days this week as those temperatures continue to get back into the low 90s up uh, closer to 92 on Sunday and then we're talking mid 90s here for early next week. The Cascades will be in the low 80s across the pass. Sunny skies continue there as well. Mid 80s in the foothills not finding much relief even there at 6,000 feet. Central Oregon you'll be in the low 90s today. Mid 90s early next week uh, and still no rain in sight. And for the Willamette Valley our highs will be in the upper 80s and low 90s today. It is going to be a warm one. We hold in the upper 80s here through the weekend. Still You'll see that marine layer each morning, but by Monday it'll be full sunshine from the start and that'll allow our high temperatures to get even into the low 90s. Now, how much longer be before we say we're in a drought situation? I mean, well, right we, now we're sort of in a mild drought, right? We are, yeah. When you get south of the Lake Valley into the Umpqua Basin, Southern Oregon, East Oregon, definitely drought conditions. We're right on the edge. So again, with each week that we don't see the rainfall, uh, that'll push us further into that drought condition. Okay. Do you want me to declare the drought or are you going to do that? <laughs> the, the, we'll the take time? care of it. We'll okay. take care of it. <laughs> yeah. All right.